What's up folks, it's Foz here, welcome back to another video. Today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at what I think is the like ultimate budget inventory you can build right now in CSGO ahead of CS2 being released. You guys give the feedback, you don't want to see 20 plus skins, some of which you don't really use often in games, so we've gone for the top 15 most used skins here. Going with what I believe to be the best budget options out there, and there are some alternatives you can go for instead if you want a little bit of a theme change. If you guys do enjoy the video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button here and here, and also let me know in the comments down below if you like this style of video. Obviously, we've gone for a new webcam today. We've got a little bit of B-roll in the background. Just trying to change it up. Guys, let me know what you think compared to the normal format, which do you prefer, and also would you like to see subtitles added? And let's jump right into it. So we are going to kick things off with the pistols. And I've got five pistols included in this. The first one is going to be the Glock 18 Moonrise. You can pick this up in Factory New for $1.24. And although these are more budget friendly skins. I am still running with a mix of third party site pricing. Just because it's better than Steam. But Moonrise is one of the best Glocks out there. The purple is super vibrant. People absolutely love it. And getting it factory new for just over a dollar is pretty class. If we then move on to the USP, now there were a couple of options here. I could have gone for a flashback. I was looking at a black lotus, but it's a little bit too high compared to what I wanted to spend. And I actually opted for a ticket to hell instead. You can get this in factory new for a dollar ninety-two. I love the design. I think most of the community do love the design. I think there's a little sort of niche cult that dislike the ticket to hell but for me it's one of the best usb skins in general especially on the budget side of things if we hop over to the desert eagle i am going to go with the coin flip of a trigger discipline you can pick this up in factory new for two dollars and ten cent i personally really like the the skin i think because it has that pink and the blue which are normally have a little bit of a premium on them some people don't like the pixelated design on the front but for me Big fat. With the P250, I've opted to go for a factory new Nevermore for a dollar and ten cents. You could actually pick up an X-ray if you want it as an alternative. I'll say there are some alternative colors you can go for, but the Nevermore just edges out for me. And then we conclude the pistols with the 57 Urban Hazard factory new for 95 cents so under a dollar for this in factory new as i mentioned in the previous videos i'm starting to like this camo with like glossy finish on the top it's really vibrant if urban hazard isn't your cup of tea you could go and pick up a boost protocol now the pistols right away we can go and have a look at the main weapon skin so we're going to kick things off with the ak-47 and for this we're going to have a minimal wear legion of anubis you can pick this up for 12 dollars 31 i I've fallen in love with the skin again. I know when I got back into Counter-Strike last year, I looked at this like, oh, it's a skin I kind of want to pick up. Some people are like, oh, it's not that great. But I think the Legion of Anubis is starting to get the love it deserves, especially with some nice sticker crafts you can do. And I wonder if the new lighting in CS2 is going to make this look even better. On to the M4s now. We'll kick it off with the A1S. And I'm going to opt for a factory new flashback. I know some people in the comments straight away saying you could be going for a battle scarred nightmare because it starts to go purple. And it does indeed. And it's also a very similar price. But for me, I do prefer this flashback in Factory New. And for the A4, I've opted for the Evil Daimyo Factory New for $3.88. This is one that I think looks super good in game. If you want something slightly different, you can go for like a minimal or a spider lily. But for me, the vibrant of the skin, the Evil Daimyo wins out. Now, I've got the op here, which you guys should know where I'm going with this. It's going to be the Ethereus, because you can pick this up in minimal wear for $4.32, and this is without a doubt a top 5 op in the game. I'd make the argument it's in top 3. I think it's an insanely good skin for the price. An alternative I was looking at was the Black Nile, but I think like the Ethereus is just too good to not be the gun that's in the ultimate inventory building video. Over on the scout side of things, we have gone for a factory new spring twilly, which comes in at under a dollar, and is just, I think, a really clean, got a white scope, what's not to love. We'll finish off the rifles now, we are going to have a Famis, which is going to be the ZX Spectron in minimal wear for $2.36, and then over on the gill side of things, on the T side, we're going to go for a Stone Cold in minimal wear for $2.27, this is a blue and black skin that just looks super, super clean. Unfortunately, we do not have SG or all skins in this, because I'm not classing them as being in the top 15 most used skins like in i'm thinking more like competitive play but just also in general like for the current meta we do have two smgs though so for the mp9 we're going to have the ruby poison dart this can be picked up on factory new for just under two dollars i'm a real big fan of this if it's not your cup of tea my other recommendation there would be go and get a goo which is a little bit cheaper and then for the mac 10 no it's not going to be the ensnared that absolutely everyone loves instead i'm going to go for allure which is one dollar 49 in factory new it looks incredible absolutely love the pattern on it and it's just i want to see styles like this in more skins than counter-strike 
And then we end things off with the Mag 7 Monster Call. One of the best Mag skins out there. I think along with the Justice, I think it is, it is in the top two. And obviously, Factor New for $1. fifty-two is hard to complain, which means the actual skins come in at a total of $40.88. With the average fees on the third-party sites, you're talking about $42, which for 15 weapon skins for $42 is absolutely insane. Now, I know you're thinking, what if we want to go get some knives and gloves? I've got you covered now. We're going to look at the three options, or three of the best options I think you can get for around $200. Because I think $200 is a really fair price line to set if you want a, a nice knife and glove combo. The first one, you're going to go and get some broken fan gloves. They're going to be unhinged. They're going to be $72 for field test it uh broken fan gloves actually look quite nice for field test they don't wear too bad so it's a nice fit and now you're going to pair this with a bowie knife ultraviolet also field tested for just under 130 dollars the total for this is 201 dollars and 53 cent obviously for the ultraviolets if you get them a field test it if you get a low field test of float they'll look super good the higher on the field test the more sort of scrapes you start to see but the black gloves with the black knife and then these bits of vibrant purple around it looks super clean for the combination for the second combination we're going to go for some driver gloves racing green and field tester which are 48 dollars 81 cent these are the cheapest gloves in the game on average so they're just if you're going for a budget pickup they make a lot of sense and i'm going to pair it with a paracord knife for real force in minimal wear for 146 dollars the total of this is 195 and 12 cent and then finally we're going to have the hand wrapped constrictor they're 71 dollars and and they're going to be paired with the huntsman knife in rust coat which is 123 dollars so actually just under 124 in minimal wear which is a total of 194 dollars 97 cents so depending on which knife combo knife and glove combo you go for you will be looking at about 240 dollars in total obviously if you don't have the budget for a glove and knife scrap those off completely and you spend $40 for 15 amazing skins. But guys, that's going to run things off for me today. Please let me know which skin was your favorite down in the comments below. I think for me, I'm going to have to give it to probably the AK-47 Legion of Anubis out of the 15 we've picked. But as I said at the start, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you're around here. We're making that push to 1,000 subscribers and all the support is greatly appreciated. Give me the feedback, please, on this style. If you like this compared to the normal style we do or if there's any preferences, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.